Facing Tamina Snooker Guy, or facing Tamina, we have been a Team Bella versus Team Bad Guys kicking off SmackDown. With Brie Bella in Nikki's corner, and of course Naomi in Tamina's. Yeah, Naomi in Tamina's corner, guys. Oh, I don't know why I put a Fauna set Sasha. I don't know why. <laughs> Then I thought I'll put such No. Yeah, sorry, um, we have Nikki Bella facing Naomi. Brie Bella is in Naomi, in Nikki's corner and Tamina is in Naomi's corner. Got that right. But um, yeah, guys, at Extreme Rules t next week, next episode, guys, we have Big. I'm playing as Nikki Bella. And oh. Just wrecking Nikki Bella. Oh! Okay, Nikki. There, there goes. Extreme Rules guys, the Divas match we are having, the Divas Championship, we are having a Fatal 4 way guys, um, between the current Divas Champion, which is, I think it's Charlotte, I'm not even sure who it is in this, because I haven't recorded this for a while, I haven't even played this for about a week and a half guys, um, oh! Oh, the Bronco Buster there. Look how far she came out of the um, corner. But yeah, I think it's Charlotte. Naomi. Nikki Bella. Oh, Paige. And Stephanie making her debut here. Is Stephanie. So. Maybe tonight we will see Brie, uh, Charlotte going. Wait, how many is that? What, 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 who is? We have Nikki Bell facing Charlotte, facing Paige, facing Stephanie. Who is facing? Facing Naomi. So we have six women. Oh, we'll find out on that extreme one. I'm getting so confused. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying, because I'm kind of making the matches off the top of my head, but I will. I know who I'll put in them, guys. I just can't. Who 
by the country. Saying, um, Oh! The Club Pop Power Bomb! One! Oh, we got only one kill. We also saw, in case you missed Monday Night, in case you missed episode 4, we saw John Cena defending his United States Championship against Cactus, no, pop up powerbomb against Cactus Jack. Right. And John Cena kind of got himself disqualified, which. Um, and after he got himself disqualified, he didn't say anything after that. Um, So, we'll try and get a word with him later tonight. I don't know if we can, if we will be able to, but we will try. On SmackDown, we will try and get a word from John Cena. Yeah, if we can't, then we can't. But if we can, oh, oh. Well, I don't promise you anything, guys, but um, which then led up to Cactus Jack facing John Cena at Extreme Rules in an Extreme Rules match for the United States Championship. And John Cena put on Twitter, I, only, I will only accept this if Cactus Jack loses. He will, I will get a WWE Championship match when I please. And um, Seth Rollins pretty much told. John Cena, he, he, you got to earn it, and so on. This is pretty much what we are saying, hearing that if John Cena will be, happens to be Cactus Jack at Extreme Rules, he will get a WWE Championship match against either Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins. And here we go, look! Rack attack! One, two, three! Nikki Bella beats Naomi. So, there we go, go. Naomi, uh, Nikki Bella picks up her first victory with some momentum going in to Extreme Rules. Can, can she beat five other divas at Extreme Rules to become the new divas champion once again? Blaze! Great. I don't know why that happens. Whenever Nikki sees you know, a manager, they always seem to cheer. Like the manager always seems to cheer, like they acting in something. But because stay tuned, because coming up next we have tag. No, we have yeah tag team action coming up, guys. Tag team action on Friday night SmackDown. The Lucha Dragons, I mean, look, did you see that? I mean, police don't get into it. No, it's in cars, but... Yep, we're here to go again. And, um... Uh, 
who they are defending the tag team championships against the white family. Extremely. But the thing is, we have nobody which two members of the white family, the Lux Dragons, will be for her. The white family. Uh, which four members of the white family? Which two members of the white family? I'm so, I apologize. Uh, guys, will be facing it. Which two members of the New Day? So, we go and the Lux Dragons are facing the Ascension guys. But yeah, not only do the New Day have no idea which two members that we're facing in Extreme World. But why then we have no idea which two members they will be facing on the New Day. So well, I I'm going to tell you right now. My guess is it's going to be Big E and Kirk Kingston facing Eric Brown and Luke Harper. But we would not we would never know. You won't be able to see it because I have it all cooked yet. I'm playing as the Luch Dragons. And, oh! Oh, yeah. Here we go, some double team by the Luch Dragons. And here we go. Oh! Hurricane Run and DDT. Looking for a quick pin there. Not even one. Oh! Next in the main event, we will have Champion versus Champion match, guys. John C. Uh, sorry, Seth Rollins. Facing Kevin Owens. And oh no! Victor reversed it there. I was looking for a high flying move. Mate, who do you think you want me? No! Oh! No! Kalisto hasn't been able to connect with these high flying moves recently. Yeah. You can't see Kara. No! These two teams know each other very, very well, guys. They're... Cause Blue Dragons beat the Ascension for their NXT Championship. Champion, uh, for NXT Championship. You go Sinkara. I should say Uluko. Because it's not Sinkara, it's Uluko. And here we go. Oh! The Lucha Dragons here are having a very, very terrible night. DDT! With connecting high risk maneuvers. Okay. 
again, they just not able to connect here. And here we go. Connor. Who goes Connor? What's Connor looking for here? Ascension are just raining. Harikarana! What was that? He, he literally crawled under those two. One kill there. We're looking for a pin for one. He goes the hot tag. Oh no! Oh! What's in Kara's moves? I don't know his moves. It's oh, they gotta do it. They gotta win. We gotta look. One, two, three. The Lucha Dragons have pinned the Ascension. I mean, they got off with their hot tag here. Right here. The only high risk move that paid off for the Lucha Dragon. It was the only move that they won with two, three, right there. There we go, the Lucha Dragons deserve that victory there. That is what you call an upset, guys. Alright, guys, stay tuned because coming up next, we have champion versus champion Kevin Owens facing Seth Rollins. We're going to main event time, guys. And if you just watch that interview there, it was pretty fantastic. Seth Rollins said that he has 100 percent respect for Kevin Owens. But respect or not, Seth Rollins is going to make sure Kevin Owens can't walk in to extreme rules. And this is, and um, yeah, that's pretty, Seth Rollins there, that's a pretty harsh word there. Right, here we go, Seth Rollins. I, I, I have to say right now, I'm going to really need everyone back. This year, yes, he's getting hard that bad. No, John Cena's left a bloody hell in a cell. He's been out since October. Seth Rollins has been out since November, since last month. Randy Orton has been out since God knows where. Demi Brown's been out since like Extreme Rules. Bloody. Yeah. Cesaro there, he's not really. But four top guys have been here. Brock Lesnar wrestles four times a year. Maximum. And 
Um, I'm saying this right now. <clears throat> Rumors body is going to the WWE. I kind of hope they're true. No, I hope they're not. Alright, um, and I'm going to tell you this right now, boy. We all think Jeff Hardy coming back to the WWE is a good thing. Trust me, I, will, I guarantee you it's not. Yeah, we, if we see if he comes back with Royal Rumble, everyone's going to be off there for me. But, who, really? I'm playing this several rounds too, by the way. But think of it this way. How is WWE meant to put all that pressure on Jeff Hardy? I mean, I can't honestly see them putting him as the top guy. He, he comes back, what he wins, he wins the Royal Rumble, which we know he's going to be facing either Sheamus, Roman Reigns, or someone else and I'm going to tell you right now, even though Sheamus, no one is going to be in the, to the toilet bench. Um, Jeff Hardy vs. Ren Biro. We've seen it before. The only way that it'll be a good match to watch again, but Jeff Hardy and Ren Biro can't do the moves that they used to do to each other. The only time I can, the only time that, the only real guy that Jeff Hardy can face is Neville or Finn Balor. They're the two guys that I can see Jeff Hardy face in WrestleMania for the championship. But WWE is going to get Finn Balor and ruin him like they did have with Neville. They're not going to put it on Neville because it's Neville. No, but Mike's never. Him versus Roman Reigns? Maybe, but I'm telling you right now, that's not going to be good. It'll be a good match, it'll be a dream match, but trust me, everyone wants such role in first year five. And yeah, um, Jeff Hardy, obviously, right now I'm going to tell you, Jeff Hardy is obviously going to win. If he comes back and wins the Rumble, but he wins, he's obviously going to win the title at WrestleMania, right? But then Seth Rollins comes back two, three months later, right? Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Seth Rollins will come back and be like, "Yeah, I, have, uh, I want a title. I deserve it." Considering, uh, well, here we go, Kerbstone. This is going to be quick! Oh! Yeah, um, and... Seth Rollins will be like, I deserve a total shot. I was champion before, and then I got injured. And, um, then they'll give him a champ. Then they'll give him a total shot. Seth Rollins versus Jeff Hardy. And Extreme Rules in a ladder match. Where you get in a ladder match, right? That's the way I can see him doing it. But, um, I'm going Until Seth Rollins gets back, Jeff Hardy returning is a bad idea. Because, yeah. Oh, with a super kick! No! Oh, Kevin Owens reversed it there! Trust me, I'm telling you right now. Before you all call and start calling me the haters and everything, I, I'm honestly just talking about WWE ratings right now. Just before it was the Jeff Hardy thing, right now I'm saying WWE, when John Cena gets back, whether he gets back at TLC or not, I honestly, he, right now I'm going to say this. He returns, 
after, the night after TLC. Right, he returns the night after TLC. And... WWE, don't give him a US title shot right now. Don't give him it. Give him a bloody WWE Championship match. WWE should be a Triple H and Stephanie should be like, you, you put every, right now, I'm saying this, mainly because, honestly, if Sheamus wins, then the rating is definitely going to, I'm saying right now, if he wins, he would go, just, I'm just going to keep this match dragged around so I can finish talking. Um, if Sheamus wins at TLC, then pretty much the ratings are definitely going to drop. Don't say that they've, because they've been dropping. And it's not just because Seth Rollins is champ, just because Sheamus is champ. But I, I can live with Sheamus champion for a month. The, what I can't live with though, is him being champ until TLC, until we're along. Yeah, John, yes, John, we know there's been rumors that he's meant to take leave again after the Warrior one. Comes back the night after TLC. He should stay until... No, if you're going to give John Cena time off, do it after WrestleMania. Don't give him... Don't make him come back for two weeks. Because I, I can already tell what's going to happen, he's going to be back for two weeks and go away for two, another, so he can finish making this movie or whatever he thought. And, quite frankly, it's going to piss everyone off. Whereas, I don't know how they're going to do it, but this, right now, you don't really need to give John Cena the title when he returns. Um, Alright, I'm going to try to wrap this match up as quick as I can here. Um, I might make a video later to... Three! Alright, there we go! Seth Rollins has beaten Kevin Owens. What a crap finish though. Um, I, I honestly wasn't paying much attention to that match. I was just elaborating about while I was playing. But, um, I'll continue this conversation, I might make a video and a bit later and upload it after I upload this or maybe before, I don't know yet, but um, yeah, but um, thanks guys for watching today's episode, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit, give me a thumbs up, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, so don't miss out on any of my WWE 2K16 action, all my favorite 16 action guys, also comment your thoughts on today's video. And any other matches or games you'd like to see me play on the PS3 or PC guys, well, thanks for watching. For the last and final time, this is Rapid signing out.